What's up internet? Kern1776 here with a video for you. I want to show you guys kind of what my basics are on what I take out with me into the field. And that could be just going out to hang out, work on my skills. That could be going out for an overnighter. Uh, that could be just going out to test gear. Okay, these, these are the basics of what I want to bring. So I want to try to make this short and sweet. Yeah, that's probably not gonna happen. Y'all know how I get a little long-winded. So, I have everything out here. I don't have it in a specific pack because I change my packs quite often. What I typically do is I keep all this stuff together, most of it in this little duffel here from uh, Tough Possum Gear, just so that it's easy for me when I'm transferring into a different pack. This stuff here kind of stays with it. And then I, I take this with me so I can use it while I'm in the field if I want to like go gather stuff or whatever. It's a great duffel to keep stuff in. So starting off, what I'm going to do is go over the stuff that I would like have on me at all times, right? And not necessarily go into the backpack. It'll be on me. So the first thing I would have on my belt would be this foraging pouch. Uh, I keep this on me so that as I'm walking along and I see some fat lighter that I can gather or I see some you know stuff like that that I could forage, I can drop it into this pouch right here on my hip, put it wherever it goes once I get to where I'm gonna camp. I love this thing. I use this just as much at home as I do when I'm out in the woods or I'm going hunting or something like that. I have this on my hip. Um, it's great for when I'm working on my fence or whatever. I can put fence staples in here. I can put nails in here when I'm working on stuff around the house. Uh, it's a great thing to have. So, so next thing that I would have on my person, on my body, would be this little pouch right here from Tough Possum Gear. If you don't know who Tough Possum Gear is, it's a really cool company. Uh, guy, his name is Jay Berry. Really cool story. He's, he's a great dude. I uh, met him at Georgia Bushcraft event earlier this year, actually, and uh, I bought a couple things from him. This, this pouch right here. This is a great pouch, goes on your belt. It's got belt loops right here. And I keep things in this at all times. I keep a storm whistle in there, just in case I need help, need to make some noise. This rascal right here is loud. It's going to get somebody's attention if they're within 100,000 miles. <laughs> Uh, I keep a bandana here. This happens to be from Wazoo Gear, and it is their um, foraging bandana, which is really cool. Thousands of purposes for a bandana. No need to go over that here, but uh, everything from helping pre-filter water to keeping yourself cool, dry, um, bandage, hasty tourniquet, yada, yada, yada. Y'all get the drift, right? So always keep a bandana with me. Got this really cool pouch right here. It's got the death bunny on it. You can see that. So this is from PNW Bushcraft. Also met them at the Georgia Bushcraft event earlier this year. Great people, handmade goods, pouches, bags, knife sleeves. So in this knife sleeve, I keep a little open on knife cause open on knives are awesome. So I keep this little knife in there for doing fine work, uh, cleaning my fingernails. Keep that in there. I keep a little pad of paper. I actually have, I don't know if y'all can see that, it's probably too bright, but setting the dope on my rifle last time I was at the range. Taking notes, um, ideas, whatever, space pen, this is a bullet pen to use with that. I keep two lighters on me, one in this Exotac sleeve right here, to help keep it dry. Yes, I keep lighters on me. Always got into comments when I'm showing primitive ways of starting fire and stuff like that. Well, why don't you carry a lighter? Well, I do carry a lighter. <laughs> carry two of them in case one of them don't work. Like this one, as a matter of fact. It still sparks, that'll help, but this one just finally gave up the ghost when it comes to fuel. So I got a second one. But on this one here, I got some duct tape, some jute twine, and some small uh, twine right here in case I need to fix something, yada, yada, yada. So I do keep a couple lighters on me also for fire making. I keep a little sliver of fat lighter with me, or fat wood, light or not. I keep a multi-tool with me in my pocket, in my little pouch right here. This is a Gerber suspension NXT. Why do I like that? Cause it's spring loaded. 
I'm a sucker for a spring-loaded uh, multi-tool. But it's got all kind of tools, of course, knives, pliers, cutters, yada, yada, yada. And have any any brand or whatever you want. Like, you know, this this is just what I have. This is, you know, and I switch it out when I get new stuff to test or, you know, try out or whatever. A pair of SOG snippets. I love these. A pair of scissors. You never know when you might need a good pair of scissors. These are small, freaking weigh nothing. And then lastly in here, I have a rip spool from Exotac. Why? Because duct tape's awesome. This has a lot of duct tape on it. Also has some line on here, so I could freaking use this fishing line if I wanted to, or repair. And on the inside of the rip spool, you have a needle. So you got a needle that you can use with a thread. Say I rip my pouch up right here, I can repair it in the field. And I can also use this as a thimble if need be. So that's what I keep in my little pouch right here that I, I keep on my belt so it stays with me. So if I go away from camp for whatever reason, I have all this stuff, pretty much lightweight stuff. And while I'm in camp, it's on me. So if I need my lighter, I've got it on me, right? I don't have to dig through something else in my pouch. Great, it's very durable. I have used this a lot and it's, you know, it's dirty and everything, but uh, it gives it that nice, cool, used look, but not hurt at all. It's tough possum gear makes great stuff. Dig them. Next thing that I absolutely have on my person is my fixed blade knife. And I switch these out, obviously, uh, very often because I come across a lot of knives. I get a lot of knives in to test out for um, seeing if you know we can get them in the box. This has been one of my favorites. Um, I got this earlier this year. This is an LT Wright GNS Go No Show is what GNS stands for. Uh, Bushcraft style knife, freaking awesome company. Uh, LT Wright, um, you can see how dirty that knife is. Uh, I've, I've used it extensively, I really enjoy it. Um, saber grind, 90 to sharpen 90 degree spine, freaking awesome. And then on that, I've got my Uberlieben Hexa fire starter. I love this fire starter. Um, it's about six inches long. I can't remember what the original diameter was. It's kind of gone down from using it for quite some time, but great fire starter, uh, a great ferro rod. It's not too soft, it's not too hard. Uh, the chemical makeup in it, if you will, if that's what you want to call it, the chemical makeup of it, um, it's very, very good. Very easy to strike, and if you really need to bear down on it, it showers freaking sparks. Great. And in a leather sheath, that can be a dangler or run your belt through that. So these three items I have on me, and I throw them in here just so I know where they're at. And in no particular order, I'm gonna go through this stuff. If you see something that you want more information about, let me know down in the comments, we'll do a more detailed video on it. I just wanna show you what my basics are and kinda of why, so you can think about making yourself a basic kit that you just add to, right? Keep it all together. You know this stuff is gonna go. You can add to this, depending on what you're doing, climate, yada, yada, yada. So next up, sitting on top, I've got a med kit. You should have medical supplies with you, no matter what you're doing, okay? I have basic medical stuff for things that may occur while I'm out and about in the woods. Um, Boo-boo kit. I've got some more major bleed type stuff in here. Tourniquet, eye wash solution, uh, wound wash solution, all that sort of stuff. This also is from Tough Possum Gear. I bought this at the Bushcraft event. There's zero complaints about the quality of this. Uh, handmade stuff. So, um, got a Velcro thing here on the back. So, if you had a pack with Velcro on it, you could stick it to it. Stick it to Velcro on the inside of packs, whatever. I don't have any Velcro here, so I just leave this on so I don't get that all dirty and nasty and stuff. A Shemog is in my basics, of course, for, you know, cover, filtering, you know, kind of a souped up handkerchief, right? Just a whole lot larger. So, Shemog. So I keep in my basic kit of grail right here. This is the GeoPress. I have my grail. And then I have from Self-Reliance Outfitters and grail, uh, Dave Canterbury, the 32 ounce uh, nesting cup that fits the grail perfectly. So I've got 
my filter and container all in one. And I have another container here that I can put over fire. As you can see, it's got soot and everything on it. I can put over a fire, boil water, prepare food, whatever, all nest nicely together with this. And then there's a top for this down in here somewhere. We'll find it here in a little bit. <laughs> so I do keep for medical just because it won't fit in there because I've already got one in there. I keep an extra battle bandage. The battle bandages are great because um, they're very easy to apply for, to yourself. And then it's got like a plastic covering over it to help keep the wound uh, from getting dirty or dry or leaking out or whatever. These are just great. So I got a battle bandage in here. I keep an extra thrown in here just in case. A compass, a good compass. So this right here is from Sunco. Really nice compass. It's got all, all the stuff you need, map reading, uh, declination, you know, all that stuff. It's got it all on here. Uh, it's got the lanyard as well. My view is when it comes to compasses, some people see all the stuff it can do and then they get uh, intimidated. It can be intimidating, but you can still do the basics with this. So in my opinion, you should have a compass that can do it all, whether you know how to use it or not, because you can learn along the way and then you don't have to buy another compass. Uh, get one that, that does it all right out of the gate. Um, it's got a mirror on here, obviously for using with the compass, but also you can use the mirror. If you got something in your eye, you can do it to check things out um, and you can use it for signaling as well. And I keep the directions with it. Why? Because why not? It fits right there inside of it. And if you're not using compasses on a very regular basis, some information can kind of get slip away, right? Like you can't remember what you should do or how this works or how that works. It's good to have some literature with you just in case you need to be reminded. And in a pinch, if I need some fire material, some tender, wait till something get, get, get it going, I can burn that. And then I can print off another one from the website. Keep a pair of leather gloves with me. Cover, warmth, taking stuff off the fire, briars, messing with you know stuff that could cut you or burn you or stick you, yada, yada, yada. Good pair of gloves I keep in there. Also from Tough Possum Gear, I got this little, little pouch. You can use this pouch for all sorts of things, but I use it to keep another little pouch in it. But I use it to keep fat lighter in. I love fat lighter. I use it all the time. Part of my enjoyment being out in the woods while I'm walking or whatever, I got my eyes peeled for areas where I can find fat lighter. And when I do, I put it in this pouch. And then in this little pouch, also from Tough Possum Gear, I've got what I call my little golden nuggets. These are where I find fat lighter. Sometimes you can find pine trees and stuff that's kind of oozing, you know, terpene or whatever. Um, and they make these little crystallized balls that form on the outside of the tree. I'll pick those off, put them in here. It's like freaking gasoline. It's absolutely amazing. So that's part of my fire making kit, if you will. In this pouch, I keep my cordage. Yes, I said cordage, is what we call it. So I got my uh, quick deployable ridge line here. This isn't cordage, but in this little pouch, I keep trail markers. So when I need, uh, there's a bunch of them in there. So I don't know, I may be on a hunting trip. I may be kind of trekking in areas that I don't really know my way around or whatever. I may be marking an area where people are gonna join me later. I can use these trail markers to mark that and people can find their way in and out. I can find my way in and out. I keep a little bit of this TRD roll, this mini TRD roll from uh, Atwood Rope. Keep that with me, great for making repairs. I keep some number 36, I believe it is, bank line. And then I've got about 35 feet of paracord here. Headlamp, need some light. Rechargeable headlamps are great. It's also nice to have battery, actual battery powered ones just in case you can't charge it, right? So battery powered with extra batteries. Typically when I'm going out, I'll take a little battery pack with me so I can charge this if need be and charge my phone, yada, yada, yada. I keep a signal mirror with me. So this is a little signal mirror. It has got a sight on it. It's got directions on it, but of course for signaling for help. An extra multi-tool, cause why not? Two is one, one is none kind of deal. 
This one I keep in the pack in case something happens. I'm freaking using the one that's on me while I'm away from camp. I set it down, I drop it, I, don't, I lose it. I at least have one at camp for me as well. I keep a sick, a sicky, a silky gum boy right here. I love this thing. So need a saw. This is an excellent saw. Uh, this is the silky gum boy. And I keep it in here because it came with it. Ah, there's the top to my. I like to carry this Hellfire uh, bushcraft grill with me. So if I'm catching some fish and I wanna cook some fish over, over the campfire or whatever, I can use these two grates to uh, get my stuff up over the fire, cook fish, cook whatever. I keep another smaller fixed blade knife just in case I wanna do some fine stuff and still have a fixed blade versus a folding knife. This is one I'm testing currently right now, obviously smaller than my GNS, but uh, I dig it, man. Got G10 scales, orange, so if I drop it on the ground, I'll find it again. Then I keep a little knife right here. Um, this is a Boker, kind of like, you know, think of it as a, a Swiss Army knife. It's got all the gadgets. It's got all the different knives, the different little blades, the, the uh, corkscrew, all that stuff on there. Why not? I dig it. It's a great little knife. And then lastly, I keep this wax canvas ground sheet PNW Bushcraft right here. I can lay this on the ground. I can lay all my gear out. I can sit on it, kneel down on it, work on it. I can use it to help gather firewood because it's got a loop that goes all the way through here. So I can run a stick through this side and a stick through the other side. And I can use this to carry a lot of firewood. I can make a chair out of this and it's heavy wax canvas, very durable. I've used this thing while laying on the concrete here, working on, on vehicles in the shop. Awesome addition to the kit. I typically, like, I'm just keeping all this stuff in here so that when I select whatever backpack or whatever I want to take with me, I take the contents out of here, organize them however, fold this up, put it in there as well. You know, maybe that's an idea for you. Like, get all your basics together and then you can add or, you know, change up what you're carrying it all in um, however you want, depending on time of the year, situation, yada, yada, yada. And some of you may be thinking like, holy crap, dude, that's a lot of basic stuff. I get it. Like, look, some of you guys might want to put the loincloth on and go out with just a knife on you. I'm cool with that. Go right ahead, enjoy yourself. I'm not that guy. If I had to be that guy, I would think that I could do that. But I don't have to be that guy. More power to you if you are that guy. And in reality, this isn't a lot of stuff. Like this isn't a huge bag right here. This is, I mean, a bag big enough to put a pair of shoes or two in. Like it's not a big bag. So it's really not a lot of stuff, but you wanna cover, try to cover those 10 C's um, as best as possible, right? And have some redundancy. So you may wanna take stuff out of this kit. You may wanna add stuff to this kit. That's, that's okay too. I'm just showing you guys what I do because people have been asking me, you know, hey, what do you, what's in your pack? What do you do? So outside of this, because I can't put it in this bag right here, I always carry my DD Hammocks 3x3 tarp. I love this thing. You can do tons of different kinds of shelters with this 3x3 tarp. Three meters by three meters. That's what 3x3 three three means. So um, I always keep my my guy outs attached to my tarp at all times. They stay on there. I don't, I don't have to worry about going into my cordage. I can get to camp. I can grab my quick deployable ridge line, throw that thing up and go to town with this and get my shelter set up. Yes, I can make stakes in the field, but why use that when you can just put stakes in? So don't forget stakes. Great tarp. You can make a tent with this. A-frames, Adirondack, different types of shelters you can make with this tarp right here. Highly recommend this tarp. Also, I keep a poncho liner. Of course, this can be added to depending on the climate of the time of year, but it's the basic that is always with the kit. There's camouflage. 
I can zip it up, use it as a bivy or sleeping bag. I can stretch it out and use it as a big blanket. I can use it as a shelter, anything like that. The next little piece of gear I got that's, you know, you can take out of basics, but it's kind of a luxury and I like to do it, number one, because I'm getting old and my knees hurt sometimes. So, <laughs> got this little pad right here from Tough Possum Gear that I also purchased at the Bushcraft event. Um, I enjoy his stuff. I think he's great stuff and he's a great guy. So I you know, wanted to support him and, and get some things. So this is just a, a pad. You can use it to sit on while you're hunting. You can use it to kneel on while you're building a fire or doing whatever. It's just a great little comfort device. It's padded. Um, it's orange on the back for a hunting situation if need be, or for a signaling situation if need be. Um, you can fold it up, throw it in a, throw it in a bag. Um, I typically roll it up with my poncho liner and strap it to the bottom of my pack. And you can open it up, pull the pad out, and use this as a, another pouch or whatever if need be in a pinch. So I keep that with me as well. And then lastly, I've got this little kit that I've put together here. This little bag right here, or pouch, is made by PNW Bushcraft. I've got a, I forgot what this thing is called, it was from Outdoor Element. It's the carabiner that you can use as a fire starter. Um, I keep that on there for many reasons. There's tons of reasons you may need a carabiner. It's just a convenient place to have it. And it's kind of with my cook kit. Uh, also from Outdoor Element, I've got pot grabber here that I could use to grab stuff if I want to. It just fits there into the pouch. It's got pouches all the way around it. Also in the pouch, I keep an extra lighter. Oh, two extra lighters inside here because you know why not and then on the top i've got a little griffin pocket tool it's got a little pry bar some wrenches stuff like that and it's kind of like a, a carabiner i don't know how we all can see that but that was given to me by casey at georgia bushcraft so on the top i've got my uberlieben kessel pot right here keep my handle on the inside. You can keep the handle on the outside, but I just keep it on the inside. It kind of makes it a little bit smaller. But this is a great pot right here for cooking, purifying your water, things like that. Of course, I can just build a, a fire, right? If I just want to cook. I don't need a fire for warmth or anything like that. I just want to cook. I keep this solo stove. I believe this is the Titan. Pretty sure this is the Titan size. So this is a larger size solo stove right here. Um, I keep a handkerchief in there and then that's you know, the inside of the stove. This thing is freaking great. I mean, it creates an excellent, excellent fire. Very hot and very, very little smoke. Give me a fire going inside of there. I can set my Kessel pot on there. It's like the perfect freaking size for that or I can set that grate on top of it and then put this on the grate. And that all obviously fits into this dude right here. Wax canvas, very durable, handmade, Papa November whiskey bushcraft. Check those guys out. Put this back in here. I think my wife needs to come back in. Trying to work, folks, trying to work. See, my wife ain't working this week. And sometimes I think they forget that I actually have a job. <laughs> they think I just I just sit in here and play on the computer all day long. Am I wrong? She said no. She's working on a chicken coop outside. Don't cut yourself with that. Yeah. All right, so that's my basic my basic kit, my baseline kit, the kit, my foundation, what I built off of. And I, I change things out over time, right? Because like I, I test gear, I get a lot of gear in. My mission objective is to is to test stuff out or whatever. So I know to some this may like this may seem like a lot, but it's really not. Once you obviously um, oh, and I got another one of those right there. Two is one, one is none. And that's this is the reason why I keep this one here, so that. It helps me keep everything together. I can't be organizing anything else in life, but for whatever reason, this basic kit right here, or this basic loadout, I keep organized. 
outside of just a couple things that I would add, but I wouldn't put in the basic category as far as like the cover, like the something more than, than just this, like something to sleep um, on would be something I sh should probably add. But in my particular area in this time of year, that's not that big a deal because you want to have something to sleep on in and under, right? So I got my under, I got my in, potentially my own, depending on the weather, and my under. A lot of times I'll use a uh, black uh, trash bags. You can use that as a browse mattress or browse bed. I typically have one of those in my kit, but I don't have it here today. Right now, it's not an issue. In another month or two, definitely would be uh, sleep on, would need to be as the basics here. Let me know what you think in the comments. I mean, does some of this stuff seem ridiculous to you? Does some of it seem uh, outrageous? Does it seem like too much stuff? Again, um, if you're the loincloth uh, stone knife guy, I get it. Like, in many ways, I wish I could be like you. I'm just, I'm not that guy. So, <laughs> uh, this is my basic kit. And if there's anything that you want a little more detail on, let me know that in the comments and then I'll pull that one or two particular items out and we'll discuss it. Heck, and you might even like watching this video right here. This is one of my favorites, so check it out. You can check out many of our other videos here on YouTube. Yeehaw. Love you, mean it. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time with another video. Yeehaw.